Finally! I get my opium fields out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we made the planes. We were trying to think of funny ways to make the lands. I can't wait to see the forest. Oh, there. This is an artifact creature. Uh, I don't know if I want you to have that. Ooh, that one over Oh, you hadn't played your No. Uh, okay. But yeah, mm, I want you to have that. In fact, I'll do this to make it a little easier because that's not in play. Let me go ahead and do a bit before I start playing stuff. I'm going to remove three loyalty counters. So it puts me down to two. Exile target creature. I'm going to exile that. And it stays exiled until enchantment I control is removed from the game. Right, so it's over here with the yeah, see, exile target creature or enchantment you don't control until target enchantment you control leaves the battlefield. Okay, now let me start. Okay, here we go. It's time to play the best card ever. So I'm going to tap two to activate that. That gives me two, three, four, five. <laughs> Buff Biden. I think it's Bernie Sanders. Oh, I mean, that's what I meant, Bernie Sanders. Um, but yeah, both Bernie Sanders. But he's a six-seven indestructible. But uh, as long as your devotion to green and white is less than seven, uh, Karma Tora isn't a creature. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may search your library for a forest or plains card and put it onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffled. My devotion to green and white is one, two, three, four, five, six. Or it's one, two, three, four, five. It's five. So this isn't a creature yet. Not yet, because my devotion's only five so far. But that does let you, whenever you yeah. cast a creature, that will let you do things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so go ahead. Where did you find this mat? It looks like an actual mat that he just put these tags over. Timo. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say go rather than nothing I want to do. But you want to do or nothing you can't do? I can do stuff I don't want to do. <laughs> Not the Dustin Band World Tour. <laughs> I tell that story. Good. Uh, I need to play a creature, so I'm going to tap, keep that tap, that gives me two, then four to pull my commander back out. Since a creature's coming into play, um, I can search my deck now. Man, where the hell is all the land? I'm seeing so much. <laughs> okay, we're getting dust and jarred out. <laughs> the weed fields. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now dust and jarred's on the field and um, tap to play Utopia Sprawl. On Dustin's yard. <laughs> oh, it comes into play tapped. Okay. So, that's up there. And, and since an enchantment came into play, I gain a life. And I drop a card. <sighs> Okay, um, on thin ice. <laughs> so I tap one Y. It's a snow enchantment. Enchanted snowland you control. When on thin ice enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until on thin ice leaves the battlefield. Uh, I don't have a feature. 
You exiled my only thing I had. Fine. Damn it. <laughs> um. Oh, damn. I, didn't, I forgot. Opalescence. Um, opalescence turns that into a creature as well. So, now... So, one, that's a creature. Oh, one, two. I'm going to do this while you're doing that. I'm going to select this and put two basic lands tapped into play. Okay. Yeah, because see, whenever a creature comes into play, I get to search for land. But seeing as Opalescence makes all enchantments creatures, oh, that came into yeah. play. Yeah, I don't actually know how the deck works. <laughs> I don't either. You're I'm figuring, figuring it out. out. I was just more. Yeah, I'm, fig <laughs> I'm figuring it out as I go too, so I'm like, oh, okay. That's why I'm not being, I ain't really got nothing. I ain't been too aggressive because I kind of want you to learn it too. No, I'm I'm just wanting to play to see what I was in. I kind of want to do another game after we do it just to see what I was in here. I'm going in blind. We can, but I'll be switching commander decks on the play. Yeah. Like, if we do that. Um, okay, so did I play something else since then, since he's been out? No. And um, I'm figuring out how this works. It's all enchanted based. There's very few creatures in here. It's, it's playing enchantments, turning them into creatures. And there's actually not much land. It's about other stuff it gives you land. Like, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. It's all enchanted, enchantment based. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, I got two. Oh, yeah, it comes into play tapped as well. Any lands he brings out comes into play tapped. So, you see, now my land are coming out because good old Bernie with his <laughs> um, tax pitch. Um, I guess we'll pass it for now. I'm still trying to learn this too. And it don't help with these pictures because I don't recognize them. I gotta sit here and read it meticulously. Even the names are different. Well, some of them, some of them have the same names. Like Opalescence is the same name. I know what that did. Um, Selesnia Signet's the same, but Daddy Dan's up. Uh, Oh yeah, you played an island, okay. Yeah, well, last turn when I brought it into play. Last furnace, okay. I have a 5-5 five, five flying double strike, and creatures attacking my opponents have double strike. Okay. And uh, it's your turn. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This trip scares me. Um, okay, um. Well, for start off, let's... Tap the opium field. I'm gonna put on thin ice. Exile your Hellcat. Ah, oh, I forgot about that actually. Yeah, and since that came out, it counts as a creature to opalescence. Um, uh, that lets me search for land now. We'll put Cross and Verge out. It's tapped. Um, let me check so, what's my devotion now? So. One, because lands I don't think count towards devotion. It's only stuff with a casting tile. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, he's now a six, seven indestructible creature. And oh yeah, I haven't used that yet this turn. So I'll put it right here. Okay, this is kind of bonkers. Uh, this deck's actually really insane. Um, I'm going to tap that to activate that. Um, I got a green and a white. I'm going to take the white from that. and Well, just the white and the green. I'm going to play uh, Luminous Ascension. Um, Luminous Ascension at the beginning. George of, Bush. <laughs> yeah, <Ezra. laughs> um, At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if you didn't lose life, uh, life this turn, you may put a quest counter on Luna Ascension. 
I pay um, one white and one generic, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying, activate only if Luna Ascension has four or more quest counters. Um, now I type um, uh, two green and two more to play Abundance. <laughs> if you would draw a card, oh wait, no, I didn't want to play that one. <laughs> Um, Judge! <laughs> yeah, fine, I'll leave it. I think that ain't bad. I don't care. If you would draw a card, you may instead choose land or non land and reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand, put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. So, in other words, if, like it says, um, draw a card, I can choose land, I keep drawing until I get land instead. Okay. Um, if that's what I want. Now, do I have anything else? Oh, just because I got one left here. Um, plus, Opalescence is turning all of my enchantments into creatures. But I'll pass one more turn before I start doing these type of swinging. I didn't even realize this is Alex is a fudge packer on it. And the flavor text says Jonathan did it. <laughs> Ball. I have not been doing that each turn. <laughs> I could have been doing it. I could have had like four loyalty counters, but oh well. It is your turn. Uh, <laughs> it's some of these cards. <laughs> okay. Um. Now we're going to start doing this, so. I'm gonna tap that to produce a white and then get an extra green from our and we'll put <laughs> Dustin's Band World Tour out. <laughs> and that makes it other enchantments I control now have Shroud. So none of my enchantments can be directly targeted. And since an enchantment came out, See, I didn't get, I should have got a life for that one, and that one, and I got a life for that one, so that's three life I didn't count, so I'm up to 44. I also didn't draw cards for those, I ain't going to worry <laughs> about it, I got too many cards in my hand, so I'm going to draw a card from this. Um, I'm oh yeah, at the beginning, I, uh, yeah, and it's... Each opponent's end, end step. Yeah. So there was one at the end of yours. So one. Now what the hell? I've never heard of this card before. this card before so tap one to tap that that gives me a white and a green then um, another white and um, my cat is attacking the Christmas tree I'll tap that <laughs> there so I'm gonna have two there but court of grace Picture aside, it says, when Court of Grace enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. If you're the monarch, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying instead. <laughs> but I'm the monarch, according to the card. How does that roll chain? <laughs> I don't know. So at the beginning of my upkeep, I would create a... I am so confused. Okay, so I got... Two more mana to play with. Oh yeah, and since an enchantment came into play, I gain another life from 45 and draw another card. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I know what this is. Uh, 
Oh God. With the green that's floating, I'm gonna put whip silk on him. It gives uh, enchanted creature has reach. Right. And since an enchantment came into play, uh, I gain another life and draw another card. But the thing is, whip silk has you can return card uh, whip silk to your hand, so you can keep playing it over and over. Um, I'll be playing that next time. Wait, is that Nicholas Cage making pancakes? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and I'm going to use this this turn because I didn't last time. Um, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an enchantment and the rest of the bottom. <laughs> Burgeoning, Dustin, I worry about you. <laughs> we'll, go with, we'll go with that. I gotta reveal it, Sylvan Library. <laughs> okay. And um, I guess we'll go ahead and start doing some attack, and I'll sign right. with Bernie Sanders. I'll take six. Yeah, all right. Let's make it 34. And uh, I'll, I'll end my turn. I'll put a little counter on here. Go ahead. Found this the other day. I forgot about these, but I got a new battery in it. But oh. the life counter, I completely forgot about that. I don't know why they don't make a lithium ion rechargeable one. Okay, I've got a good idea of how this deck works now. I think I'll. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. When this enters the battlefield, or is put in the grave. You hard. I draw a card. So I draw a card. Oh. Okay, two more. When that comes in the play, <laughs> battlefield is put. I may search for a basic land, reveal, put the hand shuffle. Let's see. Oh, there's an island, put in hand. Let's see, that was one card yet. Shuffle. <laughs> this deck is so your turn. There's actually stuff I could sort of have done, but your deck's kind of really throwing mine off big time. You're just going easy on me. A little bit at first, but now it's like I need to do stuff and it's like I can't because of all the shit you got. That is going to be the smallest text I've ever seen on a card. <laughs> yeah, have fun reading that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that that's confusing, but okay. <laughs> I gotta play this. Um, okay, so I'll tap that to tap this. That gives me two uh, white and a green, so two now. Um, three, four, and five. Sphere of safety, it's Nicolas Cage making pancakes. <laughs> creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controller pays X for each of those creatures where X is the number of enchantments I control. Oh God, well I'm really screwed, how much is that? Uh, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'd have to pay ten. All right. And you have to pay it per creature. Yeah. <laughs> that you attack with. Um, and. Oh, yeah, I got one of these last turn. I was a quest turner on that. And at the beginning of my turn, I get a 4 4 angel token because I'm a monarch, apparently. <laughs> so here's my Michael Jackson token. Oh, yeah, and since that came in and it was an enchantment, I got the 47. I don't know what Lou's talking about. This deck's really good. 
What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You can't show because you can't see these cars on tape. Obviously, <laughs> if you have to play it. Um, what's going on over there? Cat's gotten into something, I think. Well, I got to play one of my favorite cards of all time. So. Tap two, three to play Kodama's Reach. <laughs> Put one card into pl uh, uh, play and the other into play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't want to spoil myself on all these, but I'm trying to find stuff. I just need Heathcliff. <laughs> Okay, planes will come into play tapped and um, that will go into my hand. That being said, I have not played a land this turn, so I can go ahead and plop it out. And uh, let me see. I should have had this out earlier. I can't play it now. I should have really had this out earlier. Um, I'm sitting here. I didn't know what it did because it was a broken down Ford, and it don't. It <laughs> makes no sense. I could go ahead and throw this out just to throw it out. Um, <laughs> 